Well, traders, I am feeling 2008 all over again, and I don't know if that's a happy period or a hard period. I mean, great for my trading account, but very hard times for the economy. But, you know, that's my duty as a trader to use these kind of days in order to make money. And today is going to be one of these days when I'm going to make a lot of money or lose a lot of money because I trust the market to continue. I trust the market to get down and go today. So I'm going to be taking quite a lot of risks. Now, take a look here at Roku, Tesla, Space, ESPR. They're all down dramatically. And I'm looking for my first trade probably Tesla here and of course you know you remember Tesla was at $1,000 just a few days ago and now it's coming down it's at $700 almost $300 from the from the top and Tesla looks like it's going to come down with the market it's already down more than 5% and I'm looking for a short just under 732 I want to make sure it's coming down and we are getting close look at 732 here the buyers and under Just moved under for a second there. I did not click the button. I look for another confirmation. This is a bottoming tail, so maybe it's not going to come down. No, we're coming back down to 732. Now I'm going to take very large size, 4,000 shares. Now I'm short. That's a huge risk because my stop here is over, is over 740. And look at the numbers here, changing so rapidly. <laughs> $6,000. Oh, come on. $8,000, $12,000, Under the lows, please. Come down under the lows. The lows are $7,25.60. Small pullback. Still green. Oh, come on, Tesla. Move under the lows. $14,000. Go on, go on. 17, 18, 24. <laughs> We're doing well. SPCE. Did not take my partial in Tesla yet, but look at SPCE here. The same idea. Stock is down and about to reverse and I'm about to show 10,000 shares. I don't usually take this size. I don't usually go more than 4,000. I'm about to short. Shorting now. I mean, the stock is down 16%. And I took 10,000 shares, again, expecting it to come down with the market because the market did start with the gap down and is now moving under the lows. So I'm taking a big risk. I took a big risk in Tesla. I do not yet have my partial in Tesla. I'm keeping it for a longer ride today. And look at SPCE now, already up $6,000. And going, and going, and going. Come on, come on. It's getting close to the lows. $8,000. 9000 10000 Traders, there are some times in the market times when the market's coming in so big, you just owe it to yourself to take more risk. About to cover. We have $16,000 here. Covering now. Just covered. Left 600 shares in SPCE. That's my first partial today. Just came under the lows. Beautiful trade. I'm looking at Roku here. And Roku, although moving higher, couldn't resist the market. The market's coming down. And I'm looking for the pullback in Roku under 109.50, which is now. Didn't quite manage the 109.50, got it at 109.20. I'm short 8,000 shares and I'm taking a big risk, the same as my other trades. Look at Lyft here, down 7.8%. The same idea, the stock is down and reversing and I'm about to short. Shorting now, 8,000 shares. As you can see, I'm on double size. Everything I take is on double size and even more. Just have to take this risk. Tesla is at the lows. I'm already up more than $30,000. It wasn't far 
from kicking me out and look at this beautiful breakdown here look at the beautiful breakdown up 40 50 thousand dollars and going and going 60 thousand dollars come on tesla come to papa 4,000 shares at any sign of a pullback i'm going to cover i think it's pulling back up now covered took a huge profit in tesla doing great and again larger quantity than usual the market's coming down and i just need to ride the trend does not often happen i mean ever once in a while you got to be there CLR is uh, moving higher it's trending higher i don't usually short a stock that is trending higher i will now taking 10,000 shares short it's uh, approximately a 50 cents stop loss gonna stop it over the high 17 dollars whole number tesla it's getting close to the lows and i'm about to add some more again taking a bigger risk now with 2000 shares now add the 2000 shares in tesla and it looks like it's about to break down spce same idea getting close to the lows and i'm about to add another 4000 shares taking now i'm short expecting a breakdown Tesla broke down and continued once one more time look at this number here over thirty thousand dollars I'm about to cover covering now took another huge profit in Tesla but again lower size than the one I started with LYFT did great cancelling my stop order here now about to take a 7600 shares partial took now it's a very very nice trade in LYFT I'm having an amazing day today we could it well look at my entry point right over here and where we are right now I mean this is just absolutely amazing I'm taking my partial right here now in Roku another great trade trusted the market trusted Roku to come down and about to take my partial here too after adding to SPC earlier got uh, okay took my partial now Sa first sign of pullback took my partial and take a look at the market here traders again we started here we started with a very big gap down and then we tried to move higher and we failed now when the market's starting with such a big gap down it usually will come down if the history shows that it should now take a look at what happened in the last few days huge gap down here over three percent at that day i thought it was very very dangerous to trade i was up like six thousand dollars at the end of the day at that at this day we had a beautiful trend i made more money and then yesterday was approximately a resting day tried to move higher and failed but since we failed that and that was the chance of the market really to move up and the market did not move up and today we found the market coming down again therefore most likely gap and go which the market did today and here's my account traders CLR was a loser I got stopped over the high so that's my only loser today but look at LYFT Roku Space and uh, Tesla in Space and Tesla I had two trades uh, in Roku I added as it came down so uh, several trades six or more trades today on the green side just one loser in CLR when you trust the market when you trust the market direction it it all makes sense it's much easier to trade when you know where the market is going because stocks are usually following the market and when you have some several days when the market's coming down try to move higher yesterday then you know I could have sometime yesterday I thought well is that like the market pullback here and we're going to return to the highs it could have happened yesterday but for it to happen yesterday today needed to be some kind of a continuation higher and that just did not happen and since the market started with a huge gap down today you could expect a gap and go and that's something I don't usually do 
I don't usually expect the market after such a huge gap down to gap and go. But if you look at the last few days, you do expect it. And when you expect that to happen, and again, it's 2008 coming back into my memory right now, and I'm experiencing the same feelings I had back then. I need to take more risk. I need to um, use larger size, and I need to go for uh, much farther partials, take more profit, and also be aware that uh, the volatility may put me at a bigger risk than usual. So larger stops, larger profit targets, and just make more money. That's our duty in times like this. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for watching our video. Before you go, we invite you to join the TradeNet trading team. Our professional analysts will teach you how you can trade stocks from your own home without risking your own money. Click here to learn more about our funded accounts program. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can view many more stock trading videos. Questions or comments, please submit them below.